Welcome to a brand new episode of RSW Fight Dynasty. As always, I'm your host, Truly OG1K. I have gotten one hell of a show for you tonight. In case you didn't wonder, yes, the thing boob and you wonder why the interest didn't come, yada, yada, yada. Well, we're going to have two more co tag teams that will enter into the tag team turmoil to determine who will be number one contender for the tag team championships in case you don't know we got a huge stack card for you to rise to the top in the tag team division and enter the turmoil but they got the usos to deal with now as i stated in last we'll have to go through a kid to battle for the cruiserweight championship matchup then he gets the title match all to himself but if a kid wins then a kid will be added to the cruiserweight championship picture which means it will be a triple threat matchup as well as i stated earlier on travel stream it will be roxanne gutierrez who shocked the world became in the new R epw women's champion and she will go one-on-one -on -one with none other than crystal king and what it do, Ashar? What it do, Ashar? And speaking of Ashar, you are in action tonight as you are taking on the one and only member of Lucha House Party, Kalisto. And then another tag team is going to be entered into the turmoil. But we got to know, will it be the Hurt Business or will it be the New Day as they look for a second chance? And then in the main event, Marcus Mack is back in action as he's going to go one-on-one -on -one with the phenomenal AJ Styles. This is going to be one hell of a main event. I would love to see these two go at it for the world championship someday. But we're going to get things started here with our tag team turmoil qualifier match. Now, four teams are already in the tag team turmoil. DIY, you got Lucha House Party, you got Squid Ink, and Legacy are already in the tag team turmoil. Four more teams are yet to qualify. So, we got Fabian Agner and Marcel Barthel. I don't know if I said that right. But, they're going to have competition because it's not facing any other team. They're going up against the once 
they going up against the Usos. Who is going to make it to the qualifying tag team turmoil? Travel, thank you so much for the raid. I do appreciate you. Now, as I was stating before, uh, we got two tag team turmoil qualifying matches. As a matter of fact, this is one of them right here. It's Imperium versus the Usos. And then later on, we got the New Day taking on... Um, who, who was the other team? I forgot. Oh, the Hurt Business and Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander. But not only that, in the main event, the RSW World Heavyweight Champion is action. And he's going to go one-on-one -on -one with the phenomenal AJ Styles in a main event matchup. Which I think will blow the roof off this place. Let's get it started. As we are live in Wigasaw, Michigan. As we got a full crowd in. Coming to the ring first. You want to talk about discipline in the ring? Look no further than these two men right there. In Imperium. Marcel Bathel to your left, Fabian Eigner on your right. These two, they mean business. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 440 pounds, Marcel Bartel. And Fabian Eichner, Imperium! Imperium, former NXT Tag Team Champions. They look to enter the Tag Team Turmoil and join an elite group of four teams that are already qualified. But they got to go through one of the best tag teams in history. As they you see, they say the mat is sacred. But will it be sacred enough to get them to win the night? As they you see it, Imperium. Hopefully they can make and Walter proud. And speaking of that, later this Friday, Walter will be in action as he decided to challenge Rob Van Dam for the Intercontinental Championship a little bit earlier today. But that's on Friday. We're going to get to that on Friday. But entering next, you might as well welcome them to the Uso Penitentiary. And their opponents at a combined weight of 479 pounds. One of the best tag teams in this generation today. The Usos look to enter into the tag team turmoil to become one of the best tag teams in RSW has to offer. And guys, before this match begins, I do want to say uh, this show, the shows that I'm doing are going to be in tribute to Jay Briscoe from the Briscoes as we lost uh, one of the best tag team wrestlers and a former Ring of Honor world champion in Jay Briscoe. So RIP to Jay Briscoe. Condolences go to him and his family. We love you, Jay Briscoe. Stay peace in heaven. As the bell rings, as Jimmy and Marcel are gonna start it, tell about Dell. And Marcel going after the arm of GD Uso. And, ooh! Double stop. Went for the elbow drop, but did not connect. A nice neck breaker by Jimmy Uso. As guys, I do want to say congrats to Travel for EPW for getting a new signees to the Briscoes. I'm really happy 
that he was able to get the Briscoes in. And let's not forget that also I'm also going to be making moves as well. Because not only that, I've also decided to sign the Briscoes as well. So the Briscoes will get a chance to enter the tag team turmoil on You know what? Uh, wait a minute. As I'm saying, enter the cover. One. A kick out by one by Marcel. But you know what? I have decided to sign the um, Briscoes. But as much as I do qualifications, I'm going to do something special for Jay and Mark Briscoe. As I'm going to add them to the tag team terminal. So as much as I say they're four, they're really going to be... Seven. Seven. So, yes. Travel, welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you so much for the raid once again. As you are in the mix of a qualifying match for the tag team turmoil. Now, I did say that the show is going to be dedicated to Jay Briscoe. Who, in case you haven't seen, passed away in a car accident. Uh, condolences from RSW and the family go to him and his family. Especially his brother. And also, breaking news that I've decided to sign the Briscoes as travel signed them to EPW. The Briscoes are also signed. Uh, wait a minute, into the cover, hook of the leg, kick out at one. Yeah, that that's just tragic, y'all. Uh. It's tragic to know that even your family was in the car. That that's pretty much a bad way. But. Yes, the Briscoes are signed to not only ECW, but to RSW as well. And Travel, you might as well be happy for the Briscoes because I decided to give them a... Oh, God, I hope Fabian Eichner's okay. As I was saying, uh, I decided to give the Briscoes a dead first round bye for the RSW tag team turmoil. So... The Briscoes, they're in the tournament either way. I'm not going to give them a qualifying match because I love the Briscoes ever since ROH. And if you haven't seen their ROH matches, then I, Jay Briscoe's matches, I advise you to go take a look. As we see Fabian Eigner and Jimmy Uso count a five. You want to go for the title? Well, Ashar, not yet. You got to... I just signed you. You got to earn the stripes first. I know everybody wants to go for a title, but not yet. Not yet. You seen them live up here? I actually met the Briscoe. I actually met Jay, and he was a real cool dude. Uh-oh. Jimmy, what a super kick. And will that be enough for the Usos to enter the tag team turmoil? But Fabian Eichner gets out of the way. And look at this. What? What is he doing here? Oh! Paying homage to Rikishi. And looking to go. Us Uso splash right on the back. Right on the back, and is that enough? Into the cover, one. Oh, and Fabian Eigner gets a save, but there was Jay right there. Guys, two teams are gonna enter. Ooh, went for an Gary, but Jay Uso, he saw that coming. Nice reversal, and guys, Samoan drop. And guys, to main event, the RSW World Heavyweight Champion is here tonight. And he decided that he wanted to give a dream match for his fans. So Marcus Mack will be in action and he will take on the phenomenal AJ Styles. Omega Prime, welcome, welcome in. We're in the verse of a tag team matchup between Imperium and the Usos and so far this has been one back and forth matchup as these teams are trying to go for the tag team turmoil and there's an air raid siren into the cover 
two. No, Jay kicked out. And Jimmy low key was about to make the save right there. Oh, look at this. No, don't do what I think he's about to do. Oh, try to go for a power bomb, but Jimmy Uso made the save right there. No, that wasn't Marcus, because Marcus was actually victorious. He was on recovery. That was Jacob Ashad. Jacob had to drop the Mac name because he lost. Marcus was victorious. Marcus was victorious. As we see Fabian Eichner, what is Jay doing? Jay tried to go for a dance appealing punch, but that did not connect. And Jay Uso, nice neck breaker on the Fabian Eichner. And Jay Uso, main event Jay, super kick. Yeah, that is. Jacob lost the Loser Leaves Town match. That is right. And guys, Jay Uso looking for the cover. One, two, no, a kick out at two. This is really tough between Imperium and the Usos. One of these two are going to enter the tag team turmoil. And look at that nice headbutt there by Jimmy Uso. But Fabian Eichner playing possum. <laughs> And the tag made the Marcel Barthel a Ludwig Kaiser. I'm not going to call him that. As Ludwig turnbuckle smash. Oh, try to go for Izaguri, but no avail. And now Jimmy trying to go for a suplex, but no, does not connect. Marcel. Trying to get momentum for Imperium. Ooh, another gut buster right there. Guys, the Usos, they could be in trouble right here. If I was, if I was Jimmy, Jimmy should have made the tag right there. Hey, Katie. Crazy Katie, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome into RSW Fight Dynasty. You're in the mix of a tag team match between the Imperium and the Usos. One of these two are going to enter the tag team turmoil tournament. That's nice power slam. That was, that's something I've never seen every day. It's Jimmy Uso goes right after the arm of Fabian Eigner. And look at this. Nice neck breaker right there. And Jimmy looking to go up top. Jimmy, oh, oh, so splash is that enough? Two and the Usos are going to the turmoil. What a win for the Usos as they are in the tag team turmoil. Congratulations to them. Guys, this Tag Team Turmoil Tournament, this is starting to be real, real good. Because you got Legacy, you got, you got DIY, you got Squid Ink, and now the Usos. They are in the tournament. Congratulations to the Usos. Let me put this in my notes for the Tag Team Turmoil. So far, we got six teams that are already in this Tag Team Turmoil. As I said, you're probably wondering why are there six. Well, I did sign the Briscoes. And the Briscoes, I decided as a gift to them, since they are one of the best tag teams in the world, I decided to give the Briscoes a shot at the Tag Team Turmoil Tournament. So there you have it. We got six tag teams that are already in. You got the Usos. You got the Briscoes. You got Legacy. You got Squid Ink. You got Lucha House Party. And now we got DIY. Congratulations 
to those guys right there as now we are going to set forth in the next matchup for the night next matchup now this is for number one contender for the cruiserweight championship now as i stated a kid lost this cruiserweight championship at crossfire to the now champion santos escobar now a kid is wanting the cruiserweight championship match all to himself but ever since the battle royal christian hawkins he won the battle royal to win an opportunity for the cruiserweight championship but a kid was like no uh you gotta go through the inaugural cruiserweight champion in order to get the santos escobar so we decided to have them go 1v1 if christian wins then christian will get a shot at the cruiserweight championship at the next pay-per-view but if a kid wins then a kid so basically this is a number one contenders match it's either a kid or christian hawkins that's gonna get the cruiserweight championship and this is gonna start right about now And entering the ring first, he is a two-time cruiserweight champ. Is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Madrid, Spain, weighing in at 154 pounds. A kid. A kid looking for a little measure of revenge on Santos Escobar after suffering a loss. Two Santos at Crossfire. Speaking of champions, have I heard from Phoenix lately? No, as a matter of fact, that's a shocking. I haven't. That's a shocking part. I have not heard from Phoenix lately. But entering the ring next, he's a protege to Legacy. But he wants to go on his own. It's Christian Hawkins. And his opponent weighing in at 182 pounds. The assassin, Christian Hawkins. Can you imagine what this would mean for Christian Hawkins if he can beat a kid tonight? If he beats a kid tonight. And he gets a shot at Santos Escobar the next pay-per-view. This would be a pretty interesting bout. Dallas, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. And thank you so much for the follow. I really do appreciate it. Um, in order to join, uh, uh, all you got to do is, sub if you have a creative wrestler, let me know. And I will download him from Community Creations after this. Uh, if you give me the tag, I will, um, look it up and I will download him automatically. So, yeah. Okay, Dallas, nice, nice. Okay, so, um, yeah, just send me the tag and I will download him and I will put him, I'll put your wrestler on. I'll put your wrestler on, believe it or not. As we see... A kid getting the upper hand of Christian Hawkins. A kid won in Santos Escobar. And we see the Cruiserweight champion watching ringside. We're well, watching backstage in this locker room with Legado del Fantasma. As we see Christian going handspring stunner. Nice handspring stunner by Christian Hawkins. Going to the middle rope and wow. High flying ability at his best of BME. A kid tried to go for a spinning back elbow but missed. They see the kicks in a gun stunner. But yeah, Dallas, uh, just send me the tag uh, via whisper and then uh, I will look him up after this stream. I will, I will look him up and I will download him. I got you. And seeing. Wait a minute, what the hell? Rolling on prettier, what the hell? No way. Not that quick. 
Oh my god, I thought it was gonna be over that quick. I was just pick I was just talking to the chat, but then next thing you know, it's a it was about to be over, but you know A Kid, he's not gonna give up like that. There's no way. And A Kid going cross body onto the top and now A Kid tilt the wall on bar. That's how he got the cruiser winch. How do you do that again? Uh, send me the hat. Send me your like hashtag. Like, what do I search up in order to do for community creations? How do I search them up? Like, guy, give me the hashtag name. Uh oh, a hey, kid looking to set the kill for the golden ratio, and Christian's been busted. Is a kid gonna get a rematch? No, a kick out of two. Oh my god, that's a shocking moment. Yeah, whisper that to whisper your hashtag to me. Whisper your hashtag to me so that way uh I will have that saved and I'll know what to look for. And Christian Hawkins right on the middle rope again. As he see busted wide open. And nice airtime Hurricane Lana. Is that gonna be enough? One Oh, a kick out at one right there. There's a kick right to the back. Christian Hawkins. Got how to whisper. Okay, I'll I'll message you. And oh, nice move right there by Christian Hawkins. And getting him away from the ropes. And is Christian going to face Santos? No, he is not. Wow. I thought that was going to be it right there. But now Christian going to the top rope. Fuck. Sweat. No, knees were up. Knees were up and now the golden ratio connect into the combo. One, two, another kick out in two. The golden ratio twice, but it does not work. A kid now pissed off. He needs to know what the heck he gotta do. Send him to the top rope. What does A kid have in store? Trying to go for an avalanche Spanish fly, but no. Down to the mat and wait a minute. Going for the cover one, two. No, A Kid kicking out at two. Nasty fall from Chris, from A Kid, and the Christian Hawkins, and the X Factor. Nice face buster by Christian Hawkins. Christian Hawkins, nice neck breaker right there, looking to become. Nothing can stop him, cause he's all the way up with a frog splash. Nice. Hi, right, and ladies and gentlemen, oh my god, I thought Christian had it right there to win the title, I mean, become number one contender, but now, looking for the rolling, no, a kid reversal after reversal, belly to belly, and uh oh, a kid, you know what they say, nobody gets up third time to time, golden ratio, is that enough? One, two, a kid gets a rematch against Santos Escobar. Wow, wow, wow. A kid is once again number one contender. If I were Santos Escobar, oh man, you gotta watch out for a kid. A kid, to be honest, I gotta say he's my breakout star of the year. A kid with a win, and that means A kid is gonna get his rematch against Santos Escobar for the cruiserweight championship. A kid could be a history maker. He could go to be a three-time RSW cruiserweight champion. I gotta give him credit because A Kid, he's probably one of my best cruiserweight 
best cruiserweight wrestlers of all time. Like, I gotta give it that. I agree. This match was a banger right there. It could have gone either way. It could have gone either way. But coming up next. Now, shocking at EPW, Roxanne pulled a big shocker of them all. De not only back at Crossfire demolished Nikita Mack. But Roxanne demolished Bianca Belair and became the brand new EPW Women's Champion, which was a big, big shocker, as a matter of fact. Now, we have not seen Nikita. Nikita is still recovering from her injury, from a shoulder injury, back at when she got powerbombed by Nikita. And I told her not to go up against it at Crossfire, but... I gave her the satisfaction. So Nikita is still recovering from her injuries. Now Nikita will be back in action on Monday. Nikita will be back in action on Monday. But as of right now, Nikita, she's still recovering from her injuries. But Roxanne, the, cur the brand new EPW Women's Champion, is here in action. And she's going to go one-on-one -on -one As yes, as you heard it here from Travel at a uh, surge this Sunday, it will be Roxy, Katie, Bianca, and Raquel in a fatal four-way elimination match for the EPW Women's Championship. But this woman right here, she's been on a rampage. The following contest is scheduled for one fall making her way to the ring representing the blade runners from gainesville georgia the rocker roxanne gutierrez believe it or not whether you love her or you hate her she may be a spoiled brat but you can't deny her talent in the ring believe it or not she took Ivy, her own mother to the limit, but she came up short to become EP RSW Women's Champion back at a few months ago, but then she took the limit to Nikita, her grandmother, whether you love or hate Roxanne, she is one hell of an amazing talent in the women's division. Former RSW Women's Tag Team Champion. She may be on the hunt right here. What it do, Master CJ? How are you? Welcome, welcome. You're in the mix in the Women's Division Tag Team Match and entering next. I know Travel don't like this woman. And from Brooklyn, New York, the Diamond, Crystal King. I know Travel don't want to ever see this woman again but here we have the diamond the former rsw women's champion crystal king as she is making her way onto the ring now she's looking to gain momentum against roxanne gutierrez believe it or not roxanne she's been on a huge roll as of late whether you hate her built whether you hate her tactics, she's been on a roll. And entering the and starting off, trying to go for a suplex or a brain buster, but Roxanne just knowing inside and out. Roxanne, she's a rocker, but she just like that. Roxanne got high flying ability just like her father. And Roxanne, she has also got that striking and got that technical ability. And wait a minute, what the hell? Hit the rocks just like that? No, no way. Yeah, take, take it, time it. Guys, I just saw her hit the rocks just like that. And there's a stomp. Roxanne just demolishing. Guys, Roxanne's been on a rampage. Like, ever since she's gone her separate ways from her family, like, she's been nothing 
but impressive, whether you love her or you hate her. A nice suplex by Crystal King, but you can't take nothing away from Crystal King. She is a former women's champion here in RSW. And you guys wonder where Project Dream is. Project Dream has yet to show up. And, oh, nice clothesline right there by Crystal King. And going for the armbar, which is locked in, but the ref saying the ropes is right there. And now you see Crystal King dragging Roxanne like a scarlet dog. And Crystal King now slowing down Roxanne. This is something we have not seen as of late. Crystal King slowing down Roxanne Gutierrez. And Roxanne elbow dropping another. Not done yet. And boom, scrape. And look at this. Court screw, but no, missed it. As now Crystal King going after the leg of Roxanne. And Crystal looking to go for a break. Buster and she got it. Guys, this could be an upset here. One, two. No, a kick out at two. That would have been an upset right there. That could have been a huge upset. And uh-oh. Trying to go for a hammerlock DDT, but no. Does not get it, but rocks out. That's how she beat Nikita and Bianca, too. But Crystal King kicks out. Is not rocks out yet. You can't rocks out yet. Oh, no. Now, you might want to hit the rocks. Hit the rocks. And now Roxanne rocks out. Rocks out and into the cover. And Roxanne. No! Wow. Roxanne thought that was it right there. Springboard moves out. Guys, Roxanne usually never sees anyone kick out of Rocks out right there. And she's looking. Oh, look at that. Wow! Like I said, the high flying ability, like her father. And you gotta wonder how Ivy's feeling knowing that Roxanne's now EPW Women's Champion. But can you imagine if Roxanne retains and she and Ivy wins, mother versus daughter will happen once again. Now, in case you don't know, we've seen that before at Ready to Rumble. And Ivy was the one who defeated Roxanne, but that was when Roxanne was just at the weak point. This may be Roxanne's strong point. As you see Roxanne showing absolute no respect to the former women's champion, Crystal King. And could this be a message to the RSW women's champion, Ivy, knowing that Roxanne could be number one contender for the women's champion once again believe it or not Roxanne just showing no heart no remorse as she gets back in the ring and uh oh Roxanne may be looking to get rocks out but Crystal King she saw that coming Northern Light Fisherman suplex or that was a Northern Light suplex and uh oh this may be it right here Hammerlock DDT, and is that enough? One, two, Roxanne kicking out once again. Wow, the crowd chanting, we're not worthy. This is one hell in the, uh-oh. Brain Buster, got him. Brain Buster, but Roxanne, if I was Crystal, I'd go for the cover right about now. Before Roxanne gets an opening. And just like that, you can't hesitate. And now Crystal King with a suplex. Suplex and a knee strike. I think that may be beginning of the end. For Roxanne. It oh no. Oh, what's this? Wow. Nice diamond swirl. One, two. But Roxanne 
still kicking out. Crystal King is furious. You gotta wonder what is on her mind and what is she doing here? Roxanne going to the top. Moves some, but no. Does not connect. No, it's not your favorite GM skills. It's not your favorite GM. That's Crystal King. Already working on the arm of Roxanne Gutierrez. But look at Roxanne. Roxanne been on a rampage. Oh, try to go for an injury, but Crystal King reverses. Kick and punch and punch and there's a tornado kick right there by Roxanne. And Roxanne with the elbow drops, but not done. Boots scraping. Going to the top rope. Roxanne, 450. Is that going to do it? One, two, Roxanne. Another win and more momentum in her game wow 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 congratulations to Roxanne Gutierrez what restraining are you got none As Roxanne once again gaining momentum and probably is on the hunt for a women's title picture in the future here in RSW Fight Dynasty. But she's got to worry about Bianca Belair, Crazy Katie, as well as Raquel Gonzalez. But congratulations to Roxanne. But coming up next... Ashar at made an impact in defeating the Brian Kendrick, but let's see how well that Ashar is gonna do going up against one of the Lucha House Party members in Kalisto. Now Ashar showing dominance and dominance, but can he keep that up? Well, you can, but you can't go after my women. You can't go after the women in this division. You can't go after the women in this division. Now, as I was saying, Ashar's been showing a dominant debut, and at least it wasn't a bust. But the question is, can he keep it up? But he's got a quick cruise, former Cruiserweight champion in Kalisto. And you know Kalisto, he's not going to quit. But we're going to get to it right now. Again, we are live here in RSW in Michigan. And here he comes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dallas, Texas. Weighing in at 303 pounds. The Monster. No, they don't. They don't come after you, Skills. Stop the lie. Welcome back, Travel Armless. As you are about to mix and welcome as we see Ashar making his way to the ring as he showed dominance in his debut against the Brian Kendrick. But tonight, he's got a former Cruiserweight champion in Kalisto. We're going to see how well that he does. Adderin next. And his opponent representing Lucha House Party from Mexico City, Mexico. Weighing in at 168 pounds, Kalisto! If I was Kalisto, I wouldn't be celebrating. You might as well get hurt. Okay, you know, oh, I don't got time, so I'm just going to ignore that.
I'm just gonna ignore those skills. I don't have time for him. That's Kalisto. Kalisto ready for action. There you see a Shar who made his impressive debut. Hopefully to gain momentum once again. And a shard. Look at that. The strength. The strength of a shard right there. And just like that. You see it right there. That man is nothing but pure brute strength. There you see that form right there. Kalisto's got to use his speed. That's what Kalisto's got to do. He's got to use his speed. In order to beat Ashar, but Ashar, he's just too powerful. There you see, stomp to the arm. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore skills right there with the comments. Beast Slayer 5602, welcome, welcome in. You're in the mix of RSW Fight Dynasty. And wow, German suplex. That's just power beyond belief. And now, Boston Crab. But is that going to be enough for Kalisto to tap out? As he's holding there for a while. I think he might have faded into an elbow drop. A Shar who wanted to make a name for himself here at RSW. And in Fantasy World Wrestling. And he showed his debut. Wait a minute. Holy oh, so kick. I swear to God. If Kalisto pulls the biggest upset. No. No way. No way. No way. Oh my God. That would have been a shocker. That would have been the biggest shocker of them all. And a shot. Getting slowed now by Kalisto. It missed with a cross body. And now you see Ashar holding him up to the top. And there you see that strength. Well, I got something planned for Ashar here at RSW. So, it's why I don't have him yet to fight uh, the big time yet. I got him like I want to put him like as a monster for RSW. You know, kind of like how you see with uh, Giants and how they uh, debut and all that stuff. So that's how I'm having a shot right now, going up against John, going up against guys who have no chance. As you see, look at that, just ragdolling. And guys, I think this may be what you call the end. And oh. Just slammed him down. One, two. What? Oh my god. No way no one kicks out of that. Hey. Oh god, no. Ashar, what are you doing? Ashar. You can't go up to the top rope. Yeah, I can't wait for that too. Oh no. I can't wait for that too. That would be a sh yeah, that's what I'm saying. How does a sh how does Kalisto kick out of that? How does Kalisto? Oh no. Well, I think this may be ball game. Ball game right there. Warm up the buses. Warm up the buses, cause a shark once again dominant as ever here in RSW Fight Dynasty. Warm up the damn buses. Kalisto once again gave a fight, but that was just not enough. You you see that? Bam! I thought that was it right there, but nope, that wasn't. But that right there, ball game. Here is your winner, the monster. The monster has shown his presence in RSW. That man is nothing but pure 
brute domination. Congratulations, congratulations to Ashar. Once again, showing his dominance. Who's the monster? It's Ashar. That's him. Now, if you're wondering, yes, I created him. So, yeah, this goes. Do not be coming after me. So, guys, this is the co-main event of the night. I really did not have, like, that many matches planned for the night. So, um, this one is going to be the next tag team turmoil match. He should call that his finisher Doomsday. That actually sounds pretty good. I, that actually sounds pretty good. I'm, I might call it Doom. I might call that his Powerbomb Doomsday. Because his finisher is a jack, kind of like the jackknife powerbomb. So, I figured I'd call it Doomsday. So, why not? Even if you get caught in midair, Doomsday. Ball game. Right there. Alright, but... <laughs> but anyway, we're going to find out who's going to be the next team to enter this league of tournaments right here. In the tag team turmoil. You got the New Day versus... Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander. Let me know who you guys got in the comments. Do you got the New Day going to the Tag Team Turmoil? Or do you got the Hurt Business going into the Tag Team Turmoil? And guys, the main event will be next as we're going to get this match started right now. And enter into the ring. I might as well be ready for the power of positivity. I say the power of positivity. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. 17 pounds, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, the new tag. The new day is here and they have come to play. And you gotta wonder, can they become the next team to qualify for the tag team turmoil? What was that move he won with? Uh... I had it set the Braun Strowman move set. I think it was like a yo yo Yakazua power lift cutter, but his finisher is a jackknife power bomb travel. So I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. I still got some tweaks to do. But entering the ring next is Shelton Benjamin. From Orangeburg, South Carolina. Weighing in at 248 pounds, Shelton Benjamin! As guys, Shelton Benjamin making his way onto the ring. He calls himself the gold standard. Former Intercontinental Champion, former United States Champion, former Tag Team Champion. Probably one of the most underrated superstars who's never won the big one. But Shelton Benjamin, he looks for him and Cedric to enter into the tag team turmoil. But the question is, they got the New Day who they fought for a while. And entering in the ring next. From Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in. Cedric Alexander, former tag team champion and former cruiserweight champion at his own right. But the thing is, Ken. Now, give me one second. I got a text message.
Sorry guys, I got a text message from my wife. <laughs> As the bell rings, Xavier Woods and Shelton Benjamin are going to start this match off. Now you got to wonder if you're in the tag team division. Vince did not text me. Vince can go kiss my ass. Yo, A in control. Thank you so much for the subscribe. You subscribe. You can use your prom only one time and you use it with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, A in control. I really do appreciate it. Have I uploaded a shot from Community Creations? Actually, yes, I have. I have uploaded him to the Community Creations. He's actually up right now as we speak. And the tag is made to Shelton Benjamin. As guys, coming up after this matchup is the main event of the evening where the RSW World Heavyweight Champion is going to be taking on the phenomenal AJ Styles. Yes, AJ is going to be facing the world champion. It's a non-title match, dream matchup, as everybody would love to see that. But thank you so much, and Control. I really do appreciate you. You can only use your problem once for any you, any Twitch streamer. Use it with me. It comes a long way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're excited for the debut on this TV show. I'm kind of curious to see what she's got planned for you, cause um I have I have him uploaded as of right now. I uploaded him like way before the show even started, and um so Ashar, if you see a character on Community Creations, then yeah, I think you're gonna love him. As we see Cedric Alexander going up top. Another pop-up. Ooh, nice spinning elbow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm actually excited. Now, I'm kind of curious what Miss T got for me because I know I'm going to be in action tomorrow, but I don't know who I have. At first, I was thinking, oh, CBTV, he's got to trick up my sleeve. I got to trick up his sleeve. But apparently it's not. So apparently it's not no tricks for me because I was hoping to give me some type of bullshit coming in. <laughs> As we got 10 people into the stream, welcome, welcome, welcome. I know for a fact I'm in action. So, like, the question is who am I, who am I facing? Because I know I got Ed. I know I got to deal with Travel and Sir Duckman. Why does the GM hate me? I hate you because you keep going after the women in this division. That's why I hate you. The question is, who are you facing? I don't know. Could it be me? I don't, I don't know. Could it be me? I don't know. Skills does not have no nicer hair. Stop stop the cap right there. Oh, a nice tornado kick by Shelton Benjamin. As Shelton makes the tag. Remember, one of these two teams are going to enter the tag team turmoil. And Cedric going for an elbow drop, but does not connect. You will whip me to... No. Stop that lie right there. You might as well stop right there. As Cedric Alexander submission hole, surfboard leap. But they can see Xavier Woods just getting out of there. In the nick of time, nice forearm by Xavier. Yeah, I'm about to say a shot. Don't be getting the hopes up. It can't be nice to women. Not unless it. Oh! Fall away, Moon so Slim. Is that enough for the hood business to move on? And Xavier Woods makes the save. Xavier Woods makes the save. And they just see it. Cedric Alexander getting rid of Xavier. But makes the tag to Shelton Benjamin. 
kind of odd right there. And Shelton. No, my guy is not a cruiserweight. My guy is a light heavyweight. My guy's a light heavyweight. He's not a cruiserweight. My guy's a light heavyweight, so... Oh, Jesus, I, I needed a drink. I was parched right there. <laughs> hey, guys, somebody... One of these food companies, please, guys, sponsor me. <laughs> light heavyweight is crazy. Well, that's what I am, and I was like, Travel, why is your character a cruiserweight? Because you just gonna get your ass whooped by the guys who are giants. And wait a minute, Kobe into the cover, hugging a leg, two. No, a kick out of two. But yeah, if you guys ever wanted to be like someone who takes care of giants, just be a light heavyweight. Don't be a goddamn cruiserweight, because you're just gonna get mopped the floor. And, ooh, nice spinning back kick. As both tags are made, and here comes Xavier Woods and Cedric Alexander. Nice form on by Xavier Woods. And Xavier Woods wind up punch right to the face. Ooh, nice kick right to the chest of Xavier Woods. Rolling back elbow. And again, Xavier is going to make the tag to Kofi Kingston. That, that is true. That is true. It's always the goddamn cruiserweights. And Xavier Woods moves away from the pain. And Kofi Kingston, nice kick right to the face. And Kofi, what has Kofi got playing here? A Tornado DDT. Tornado DDT. Nice move there, and Xavier Woods stomp to the chest, and again another stomp to the chest. Xavier Woods showing that the New Day, they want in on this matchup, as you see, gets rolled out of the ring. No, not anymore. Travel's no longer a cruiserweight. I told him, like, get your butt in the light heavyweight division so you won't get your ass handed by Giants. And Trevor at least listens to me to become a light heavyweight. If wow, Xavier Woods taking out Shelton Benjamin, pretty smart. Like, whoa, I think that was kind of inadvertent. Yeah, that is true. You did beat skills. <laughs> I don't know if you wanted to say that in front of him. <laughs> nice back back breaker. As now you see Xavier Woods trying to go for a DDT. But Cedric Alexander, he's got some up in his business. What a lumbar check! Lumbar check, and is that going to do it? One, two, oh, kick. No, Skills is a super heavyweight. Skills like one of them giants that you just hate with a passion. Harlem sidekick and Cedric Alexander has been busted wide open. Tag made to Kofi Kingston. As guys, one of these two teams is going to enter into the tag team turmoil. Nice drop kick springboard. And L skill. Uh, why did I say L skills? God damn it, you had me thinking of something else. And uh oh, what do they got planned here? Uh oh, there's something we love. Midnight hour, the midnight hour, and is that gonna do it? One, two, and no it. Uh oh, referee got hit inadvertently by Kofi Kingston. Thought the midnight hour was gonna do it. And now look at this, Xavier Woods. Taking out the trash. And a tag made to Kofi Kingston. 
I don't think the ref would see that. Trouble in paradise! Is that enough? One, two, no day! Oh, oh my god! Yeah, uh, I don't know. You would have to go to Judah for that, cause Judah is Ill Skills tag team partner, Ashari, and I don't think they would want to switch. I don't think they're gonna switch tag team partners. And Xavier Woods, eight the feet. But you already in a tag team with G Oh my god. Wow, you calling me this GM. Don't let me don't let me come after you, real skills. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That should have been a three count right there, but end of the cover, look at the leg one, two. Another kick out of two. Yeah, honestly, that should have been a three. The New Day should have won that match instantly, but uh-oh. Lombard check right in the middle of the ring. Is that enough? One, two, and no. Kofi makes the save for his team. As look at this. Ooh. Nice backdrop suplex. Elbow drop from Cedric Alexander. Guys, this is nothing but phenomenal action here in RSW Fight Dynasty. As one of these two teams are going to advance into the tag team turmoil. As look at this. Xavier Woods, nice ability right there. Guys, this is do or die. Tag me. To Shelton Benjamin. Shelton Benjamin sends him into the corner. Guys, this is do or die. Like, any one of these teams could make it. And ooh, try to go for an elbow drop, but missed. Forearm by Xavier Woods. Guys, this is one hell of a matchup here tonight. As guys, we still have them. Get off of me, skills! I don't want you to hug me, bro. God damn it. Guys, I can't with else skills. I can't with him. Like, he got one more time to touch me. Well, I'm gonna have to go into my dramatic measures and beat the. Oh no, I'm not gonna let this. Happen. I'm not gonna let that go. I think Xavier tried. I think Sheldon tried to go for the pay there, but elbow drop connects right on the face. And is the new day gonna move on? One, two. Yes, they are in the new day. The new day are the team to go on into the tag team turmoil. Wow, this lineup's becoming real dangerous here. You got so many teams that could possibly become number one contenders for the tag team championships. Well, there you have it. The New Day are moving on. And they get the seventh spot. So, guys, oh, man. This lineup for the Tag Team Turmoils, this is going to be pretty good. DIY, Lucha House Party, Squid Inc., Legacy, The Usos, The Briscoes, the New Day are all in this turmoil to become number one contender for the Tag Team Champions. Am I doing eight spots for the tournament? Yes, I am. I'm doing eight spots for the tournament. 
So one more spot is remaining into the tag team turmoil. But guys, you know what time it is. It's main event time of the evening. And it is a non-title match and probably a dream matchup that we would love to see in RSW. Now, as I stated, the RSW World Heavyweight Champion, Marcus Mack, who came out a brutal and impressive win over his elder little brother, Jacob. And he is staying. No, no, no. It's not a squash match. You don't know that. You don't know that, L Skills. Do you have not seen what happened between Raymond Sherman and Marcus Mack? He had to pull one out of his ass. And Marcus said he wanted competition, and AJ Styles stepped up to the plate. He said, "I want to, I want a shot at the form at the current world champion." But can you imagine if AJ gets a win? Then, whoo, 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 buddy, oh, buddy, that could be one hell of a title match run right there. So yes, it's Marcus Mack versus AJ Styles in a non-title match. And we're going to get things started right now. Again, this is main event of the night. See, asking dumbass questions like that, that is gonna, really going to fire him. But entering the ring first, he is the brand... He is the king. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making hey, his wait a minute. The ring representing. Hey, wait a minute. Oh my god. AJ Styles attacking. AJ Styles attacking. This is something we never see. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, I thought this was out of competition love, but apparently I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon right there. Yeah, that's a shocker. I usually never see AJ Styles attack his opponents. He thought it was for a competition. And now Mark is telling him, Get your ass in the ring and fight like a man. And now AJ going up. No. He's telling him, get your ass in here. And here we go. This match has started. Try to go for a super kick. Miss with a kick. Oh, super kick. But AJ, nice counter. As Marcus getting the upper hand. Now this is the main event. AJ usually never attacks from behind. I thought this was out of respect, but I spoke too soon right there. And there's a slingshot leg drop as the phenomenal one. Now going to the top rope, AJ. Frog splash, but no, the knees were up. As Marcus now Seasoning control super kick Super kicking we thought this was nothing but respect, but now Marcus says the gloves are off and the phenomenal one Seizing the opportunity that he could get Now look at this punch and kick combination And now looking The season out and wait a minute uh-oh. Marcus looking to fly. We're about to have a fly living legend. And then you see high cross body. That's why he's a RSW world champion. And now moving the turnbuckle. But now you see AJ. He's like nice try. Oh, right on to the back. AJ all missed with that knee. And there's that rolling uppercut. Rolling uppercut. As a referee. Uh-oh. Not good. 
Look at it go south of heaven. South of heaven. And Marcus is going to break that count. Marcus is going to break that count. As now you see, he's going to roll AJ onto the turnbuckle, but AJ instantly reverses. He's like, you're not going to do that to me. AJ Styles trying to get momentum here. Guys, this is like all about supremacy right here. Kick right to the face, but AJ, nice counter of his own. And kick right to the back. And trying to go for that knee strike again. But AJ counters a nice running super kick. Going to the top rope. AJ and Ryan Phoenix splash. And is that going to do it? One, two. No, a kick out of two. And one second. Yo, what it do, Sanitary Entertainment. And guys, I'm only about 10 seconds about the timeout skills. Like, bring that up again. I'm sorry, uh, as we are back into action, as AJ Styles seeming to get the upper hand onto the world champion. Nice neck breaker. And AJ Styles and Zaguri, the phenomenal one, seems to be on the upper hand. Uh-oh. AJ. AJ looking for the kill. Phenomenal form! Phenomenal form! That may do it! One, two, no! I thought that would have been the difference maker right there. We would have crowned, if the title was on the line, that title would have been on the grabs, but no misses. And tried to go for South of Heaven. But miss Sling Blade. Sling Blade. And now Mark is gonna go high risk. Leg drop. Leg drop. Leg drop. Springboard 450. But AJ moves out of the way. And uh oh. Here we go. South of heaven. South of heaven. And now Mark is looking for the kill. And here we go. Pedigree. Pedigree, but not done yet. He wants to send a message. No. AJ. AJ reverses the pedigree. And AJ going to go for the cover. Hook of the leg. Two. No. Kick out at two. AJ Styles been nothing but phenomenal here. And AJ looking for the spiral tap. But moves out of the way. Into a sling blade. Into a sling blade. Inverted Phoenix Splash. Inverted Phoenix Splash. As he gives a bow to his people here in RSW Fight Dynasty. And look at that combination sent on. As he is now daring him to get up. Daring him to get up. Springboard clothesline, but missed. AJ Styles. Oh, combination. But Marcus right there. That's what he's known for, his striking ability. And now I'm going to send him into the corner. Looking for that Pele kick. And it connects. The world champion. He has been nothing but impressive throughout his run and giving the crowd momentum as of late. As he's waiting for something phenomenal for AJ to get up. And now they can see the kick. But AJ reverses, missed again. 
More kicks and kicks after kicks. As he's showing that he's nothing but phenomenal, but AJ, AJ with a nice reversal and the punches combination of his own right there. AJ Styles, torture rack, oh! Face busted by the phenomenal. And AJ going for the kill once again. AJ, oh, went for phenomenal form, but missed. Went for phenomenal form, but does not connect. But the pedigree does. Pedigree connects and Saya, no! It does not work. AJ Styles like, what the hell? He's like, what the hell I gotta do? And now, he's daring AJ to get up. And look at this. Oh, went for the neck breaker, but once again, no avail. And AJ, this is one heck of a banger match between AJ and Marcus Mack. Two stars who are probably one of the best hot players we've seen. And Marcus, Rainbow Cutter. Rainbow Cutter. As he now looks to seize it. Oh, there it is. That's what we wanted to see right there in RSW. Pretty boy stomp. Pretty boy stomp. This is one hell of a banger of a match. And Marcus looking to seal it for a pedigree. No. AJ counters for, a third, for another time with a pedigree. Guys, AJ Styles. Wanting to show the world that he is worthy of being the RSW World Heavyweight Champion. Believe it or not, in the chamber, AJ Styles did eliminate then champion Heartbreak Maze. And AJ, uh-oh. AJ, go for the cap crusher. But the rope saved Marcus Mack from destruction. And now he's going to send him away from the ropes pretty smart by the phenomenal one and it's gonna go into the cover is that gonna be enough one two no not even a two count right there AJ Styles wondering what the hell I gotta do to take out the world champion and AJ trying to go for it again can he do it? Third time's a charm. Phenomenal form. That has got to do it. Cover. One. Two. No. No. How the hell does he keep getting up? That guy got no quit. He's the world champ for a reason. Combination. But this time, Marcus connects. Guys, how the hell does he kick out of the phenomenal form? Uh-oh. There's a submission. What is this? The Koji Crunch. Is that going to be enough? And AJ's got to tap out. Wow, wow, wow. Impressive win. Marcus played possum. Impressive win by the RSW World Heavyweight Champion right there and on his return. But you got to give credit where credit is due for AJ. AJ took the Here limit for the World the Champion. Legend, Marcus and living legend. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my God. What the hell? That's Raymond! Raymond Sherman does his clothesline! Come on, he just had a banger of a match! And now a German suplex! I guess Raymond was pissed! After his... No! And a rocket kick! Come on! Oh my god! 
Raymond Sherman. Raymond Sherman has put down the world champion. Oh my lord. Guys, Raymond Sherman on the verge of attacking the world champion. Guys, Raymond is pissed after his friend, Mark, his friend Jacob, had lost his career. Yes, this is the PS4 version. Lord Jesus. But, guys, Raymond Sherman says it's not over between him and Marcus. But, guys, that marks the end of RSW. And once again, I want to thank you guys so much. Shout out to you guys if it's your first time coming here or you guys showing love to the chat. I really, really, really appreciate each and every one of you guys now we are going to end it off with a raid onto the chat um guys as you can see raymond sherman showing that this is not over between him and the world champion after a brutal assault uh I do got something planned, but if you want in and you want a tag team partner, then just say the word. Uh, just give me who do you want as a partner before Friday, because Friday is my next stream. So let me know who you have, because believe it or not, you are the television champion, and I do have some something in store for you. Well, yeah. Well, be honest, Jeff Hardy, he did, he is the first person in history to become a dual champion for the men's division, so, heck. Okay, say less, so just let me know your partner before Friday, and uh, I'll see what I can do from there. But guys, that is the end of the stream. Thank you guys so much to follow, and uh, shout out to a Control who subscribed with her prime. Shout out to L Skills, Travel. Uh, Jay, travel with the raid. Um, Master CJ, Katie, uh, everybody who joined, especially Ashar. Uh, thank you guys so much for showing love and support to the stream. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and raid our good buddy from the Donut Gang. We are gonna raid our buddy Big Time, as he is streaming. Uh, God of War Ragnarok. I hope I said that right. So we're going to go and show him love into the chat. Uh, thank you guys so much for showing support. And guys, I will be back on Friday. And um, guys, it's been one hell of a banger of a show. And I can't wait to see what happens next on Friday. And that is all. I am truly OG1K. Good night, everybody. From RSW Fight Night. Fight Dynasty. <laughs> Deuces.